it's really about having three components right. The, the pumping technology, there is the sump, it's the piping and the pump, and they belong very closely together. And if you look how many mineral processing plants operate, they have, a, when they start up, they have a design capacity, a design tonnage. And typically most, most companies then try to in, improve their capacity, boost the, boost the tonnage through the plant. And obviously uh, there is a lot of focus that the gr expensive part, the grinding mills are perform well and that you get uh, the pro processing and the mineral extraction actually works well. But what's often neglected is, is the hydraulic transport. And uh, in a typical uh, ore concentrator, I would say slurry handling is about 15% of the total cost. So it's quite significant. Uh, and in my opinion, it's an overlooked potential for big cost savings and, and optimization. For instance, a poorly operated slurry pump may easily use 10% efficiency just from operating away from its best operating points. And, and considering that 50% of the average slurry pump uh, cost of operation is, is power. So uh, it's really key to, to optimize and it's a quick payback on actually uh, looking through and, and optimizing your slurry handling system. METSO has a kind of a unique strategy on our hydraulic designs. For, for the cores pumping in the mill circuits and similar, we have a design strategy where we have lower entrance velocity and uh, in the design point. So the pumps has its best efficiency at lower velocities to handle. You can't, on, on the cores particles, you, don't, you have to avoid the high velocities. So for the tough pumps, we have the BEP further to the left, as we say. In, uh, in the pumping side and on the tailings pump and later in the process when you have more finer particles then we have deliberately put the best efficiency points at higher velocities which is no limitation then from a wear point of view. So that's a, a, a key strategy of met METSO hydraulic designs. Then if you come to another important strategy of METSO slurry pumps that's, that's the maintainability and uh, maintaining a high uptown of our products. When there is something wrong, it should be easy and quick to, to, to rectify any issues and replace worn parts. So I have here a, a model showing some of these features. One of the key things is what we call the back pull out, where uh, without touching the heavy pipework, dismantling pipework on, on this big mill pump, that could be two months uh, eight hour shift to, to, to have that out of the way to actually access the pump. Here you don't have to even remove the pipework and you can still split the pump and do what we call a back pull out and excite uh, the rotating assembly and, and some of the key wear parts and do an overhaul and it's only a few bolts that need to be, be removed. Onto that, on this particular version, we have also what we call the hydraulic driven maintenance slide base, where you then don't have to touch the drivetrain either, which also would be very time consuming if you have to realign motor and drive components. So this is a very key feature to, to have, keep uptime high and, and have the availability there for, for the product. And, and one of the kings, Key, key strategies or matches slurry pumps. Obviously, there's a big drive in the in industry for, for higher flows, bigger pumps, um, bigger processing plants. So we are continuously um, uh, expanding our range to cover bigger sizes, which by default then become more efficient, a, a bigger centrifugal pump can achieve higher peak efficiencies than, than a small one can. Application technology and really optimize uh, where you operate your slurry pumps and, and uh, there has been a big drive in general industry for, for high efficiency motors and you gain one or two percent on this new high efficiency motor and, and on a slurry pump you can easily burn ten percent by not operating it at a good point. So having the right size pump for the job. 
I think the application technology, that's where you, we, need, we need to stay focused. It's the base materials, which is uh, elastomer lined, uh, polyurethane and, and rubbers, and, and the white irons are, are still the, the core of the industry uh, and will be so. Um, but in, in certain areas, there will be more and more hybrids coming in where you need to optimize in the extreme mill discharge uh, application, I would say, where, where there, there are things coming for, for the future, I'm so sure. There will be always be a, a requirement for high pressure pumping in the industry and uh, Mezzo has recently launched a range of high pressure piping for, for that uh, precise type of application. We have some centrifugal pumps uh, for, for that also, but uh, the really long distance uh, application, there, you, there you're talking positive displacement uh, pumps technology to, to be efficient. Our development plans are based on the needs and signals what we get from the market. Based on that, we might change our plans to reflect those requirements from our customers. We just want to be flexible. There is one example what Jan touched base was the tailings and uh, uh, increased volumes there. We are just delivering heavy-duty solari pump handling solutions to our Nordic customer and uh, so we are not just delivering the pumps but also rubber lined uh, pipes sometimes also the valves so it, it's kind of that well we develop that area further following naturally is the digitalization and IoT that is the topic that is being discussed more and more with our customers and there seems to be a higher interest true interest at the moment uh, with them. We are working also closely with other departments in Mezzo when it comes to the digitalization of our products and how they benefit our customers. So basically coming 12, 24 months there are two things. Naturally processes are changing so we need to develop and, and improve the performance of Mezzo products and the other one is naturally the digitalization, tracking better what's happening in the pumps.